So if you want to create a nice view for your clients and not show all the nitty gritty details, this is possible in both 3.0 or 2.0. It's not going to make a difference. Uh, but the big thing is really going to be how you structure your tasks as well as the hierarchy that you have in ClickUp. So I'd highly recommend uh, the way that we do it at Zenpilot is growth delivery operations. Um, so actually, those are the three main components of your business. Then in delivery, which is the most important, which we're focused on right now, is you want to have folders for each client. So I have here Dunner Mifflin, Shroop Farms, Advanced Refrigeration, and then all the work for each of those clients goes into that folder. That way I keep it all centralized. And then if you know the hierarchy and click up, you can create a view at the folder level to see all the work for that client. Um, if you have multiple lists and things like that within that client folder. Um, but the bigger part of this is going to be how I actually structure my tasks. So the way that I'd recommend is your parent task is going to be the name of the deliverable. And then all the subtasks are going to be the steps that are actually needed to complete that deliverable. So as we can see here, if I have a Google search campaign, I'm going to have building the landing pages, actually launching the campaign, uh, client feedback and approval, things like that. All the steps that you would take, there's already a bunch of completed steps on this. But if I come down here to the blog post, you'll see completing internal review, we're actually going to write the post, produce it in the client CMS, confirm client approval, schedule the publish date, things like that. These are all the steps that this work is essentially going to be passed across team members. And all of these, once those are completed, that's actually going to complete the whole parent task. So again, we're grouping together all of our work by deliverable. The deliverable name is going to be the parent task and all the subtasks are the actual action steps that are taken by the team to complete that blog post or search campaign, whatever it may be. So once I build it in this structure, then what I'm able to do is here, I can go to the Shroot Farms folder level and I can get all of the deliverables for this client in one view, which makes it super easy for me to send them um, a view of all of that work. So what I would recommend is here at the folder level, um, you can do a table view like this. And the reason I use a table view is because it makes it easier for them to not see all the subtasks. I've tried the list view and again, 2.0, 3.0, it doesn't matter. Uh, the list view, sometimes they can still see the subtasks where this one makes it so they, they can't. So I like to use the, the board view for this. So what you're able to do now is here, I can just show if I come over here to customize again, this can be a little bit different in 3.0 and 2.0 um, in terms of this UI and how it looks, but it's still the same thing, the way that you would customize this. Um, I can go to task visibility and I'm gonna make sure that showing subtasks is turned off. Um, so I'll turn that off. That means they're only going to see the parent tasks. And because my parent tasks are deliverables, that's going to make it super easy for them to just see the work that they need to see. Um, in addition, you can customize it for the row height and things like that, as well as all the columns that you're going to put in this. So in this scenario, I'm just showing the task name, which is the parent task, due date, status, and then progress. Let me refresh so that progress actually shows up. In progress, what it's going to do is that's going to just automatically update based off of my subtasks. So as I close out more subtasks in this blog post, it's going to show me that I'm 59% of the way done with this. So if your client needs to see that, that's helpful. And then also this is going to be the status of the parent task. So when it's internal review, maybe if it's in client review, they need to see that. Um, and then if you want to show due date and really whatever else you want to show here as well, you can, you can add that in, but that's what I have just for, for this uh, example. Now what you want to do is I found it super helpful to create client portals in documents in ClickUp because now what I can do is if I create a couple views, maybe some of them are the closed deliverables, some of them are the open. I can then take this view sharing of permissions. I can come here to share a link with anyone, just like that, copy the public link. And then what I'm able to do is now I'm gonna create a portal for Shroot Farms. And so as you can see here, what I have is sort of an overview for them uh, with resources. So if they want to schedule a meeting, they can see a link right here. So I'm going to request if this goes to a form in ClickUp that you have or Google Drive, say we have a shared folder with them. And then I can show them a progress report. So I'm going to get rid of the embed that I already have here. And what I can do is just go embed any website right there. And then I'm going to paste the URL in from that view that I just created. And I'm going to save that. And as you'll see, I'm now going to get my view right here for them uh, to see this. And so I could just send them that link uh, to the view. But if I want to centralize a bunch of stuff in one place, kind of like creating a dashboard, this is another way to do it. The advantage of this is then now I can add a bunch of stuff in here. And then I can also create this. If I go here to sharing your permissions, I can make this a public link. And then this allows me to just share it with a client. Um, and I don't have to 
uh, create a, a dashboard that then I have to invite them as a guest for them to actually see. Now I can just send this to them. They have everything they need there. I can format this a little bit better, but as you can see, now they can see their view. If I have completed projects, current analytics, things like that. Plus if there's any meeting notes I need to share with them too, I can put all that in one place and make a super nice portal for them to see everything. And again, the most important part is this progress report where they can come here and they're not gonna actually see any of the subtasks. If they want to open this up, again, all they're gonna see is what I'm sharing with them. We're gonna see the task name, due date, status, and progress. And if you want anything else, you can add that in too. But hopefully this is helpful. Any questions, just let me know. Thanks.